And now that we have this live, perfect timing, we've got this great live view of the IM-1 lander right before it begins its eight day journey to the moon. This is such an incredible view and very exciting that we have spacecraft separation coming up here in just a few seconds. I am one Odysseus lunar lander separation confirmed. What an incredible sight to see the IM-1 Nova C lunar lander drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage, confirming spacecraft separation. From all of us here at SpaceX, we are wishing the IM-1 lander a great flight and safe travels. SpaceX is honored to be a part of NASA's commercial lunar payload services initiative to deliver science and technology to the lunar surface. And we thank NASA and Intuitive Machines for entrusting us with today's historic mission to the moon. For those of you following along, you'll know that this mission marks our 14th of the year and second just today. Congrats to the SpaceX team. We're just in February and we've already launched in partnership with NASA missions like a Axiom 3, Cygnus and PACE. And we're gearing up for the Crew 8 mission before the end of the month. Check out spacex.com slash launches for up-to-date missions and schedules. And before we sign off, let's go back to Josh at Intuitive Machines. Josh? What an incredible, incredible view. Just a few moments ago, our flight controllers inside of Nova Control heard that confirmation of launch vehicle separation. This starts the countdown toward our lunar lander's autonomous commissioning. During this milestone, the lander is going through the steps required to power on, determine its position relative to the sun, and make communications contact with flight controllers in Nova Control. It's an autonomous process that takes several minutes. In that time, we'll walk you through what's happening in space approximately two 123 kilometers or 139 miles from Earth. At launch vehicle separation, a spring force gently pushes Nova C away from the launch vehicle second stage. We just saw that, allowing the lander to deploy and drift away toward the moon. Brake wires connected to the launch vehicle let the lander know it has deployed, and Nova C starts an internal timer to count down to when it's safe to turn on. After the timer finishes, Nova C's primary systems are expected to autonomously power on. This includes guidance, navigation, and control, or GNC for short, automated flight management software, radios, sensors, and thermal control. The GNC system powers on the cold gas helium reaction control system to stabilize the vehicle's attitude, because at this point, the lander does not know where it's pointed, but it can stop any residual spin motion. This is much like a person spinning in a chair with closed eyes can stop spinning without knowing which way they're pointing when they stop. After controlling the spin rate, special cameras known as star trackers autonomously match images of the distant star field and provide Nova C with its orientation. Software then takes those star tracker measurements and processes them through an algorithm known as the Kalman filter to correct the onboard orientation. The lander now has two critical data points, its attitude relative to the star field and a reference position from the estimated launch vector. With these data points, Nova C may command its reaction control system to maneuver the lander's top deck solar array toward the sun for illumination, generating maximum power. All of these steps are expected to be happening right now. And when autonomous commissioning is complete, our Nova C lander named Odysseus turns on its communication radios and makes first communications contact known as acquisition of signal or AOS. Making that communications connection involves more than the lander's operations in space. It takes careful coordination here on Earth too, using Intuitive Machines' lunar data network. The network was designed to support NASA's CLIPS initiative, government services, and other commercial efforts using line of sight and data relay services for spacecraft in cislunar space, which also includes low Earth orbit. The secure network is made up of Nova Control, which we're keeping our eyes on right now, and strategically placed ground stations spread across the globe. The ground stations are expected to provide near continuous communications with Nova C during the entire IM-1 mission.
With that entire network available, our flight controllers responsible for communications and ground stations will be the first people in Nova Control to start seeing data from our lunar lander, which means the ground station assigned to this part of the mission has locked onto Odysseus's signal. Now from the lander, to Nova Control, all of these innovations and capabilities are being put to the test right now as we prepare to enter our nominal acquisition of signal window with Nova C. Right now, we are listening into the mission audio loop and looking live Everybody into Nova know, Control. SpaceX just deliver us the OPM file. Okay, copy. You're good to process in the background while we work contact. Okay, I'll work with Fido on this. Right now, we estimate that the lunar lander is traveling about 10 kilometers per second, which is about 24,600 miles All right, I want to make sure Com's happy with it. Com? Uh, standing by. Um, I, I don't see packets updating in packet counts unless I'm looking in the wrong spot. Um, and I'm not seeing anything populate in AOS. So we're still standing by for autonomous commissioning and making that first ground communications from the lunar lander in space. We expect the carrier lock call to come from the comm or ground network stations inside of Nova Control. And this is Houston's first commanded lunar mission since Apollo 17. All right, I see packets. And I see- All right, guys. And then and there we have it. We have packets. That is Michaela Landavar All right, guys, on the ground. Tom, I want your report. Uplink and downlink, what do we got? Okay, so um, I am seeing packets populate on the AOS screen and in the packet counts area. Looks like telemetry is coming in pretty well. Um, we have not started uplink, so we do not have uplink locks at this point. But it looks like um, we are seeing most everything that we would expect. Um, as far as that's an excellent concerned. call we have okay. reached a pivotal milestone we're going to bring it back into the um, broadcast booth and congratulate the team working inside of nova control as our nova c lunar lander has successfully separated from the second stage of the launch vehicle autonomously commissioned and made first communications contact with nova control what an achievement for the entire intuitive machines team Let's honor this momentous milestone and prepare for the challenges and triumphs that await us on our lunar journey. From Intuitive Machines' Nova Control in Houston, Texas, thank you for joining our portion of the IM-1 mission broadcast. We'll toss it back over to Megan in Florida for reaction to this successful launch of our IM mission. Megan. Yeah, from here at NASA, we just want to say congrats to Josh and Intuitive Machines, another successful CLIPS launch and orbital insertion of a commercial lunar lander. Now, hopes are high uh, that uh, a U.S. commercial lunar lander will make it to the moon. And joining me now to talk a little bit more about that and this program is Chris Culbert, and he is the CLIPS program manager. Exciting to see this unfold right in front of us, huh? Yeah, this is great. Uh, SpaceX gave him a wonderful ride, great launch, uh, really Clear sky, we can see it all the way up to the up up to the well, not to the moon, but on its way. Um, <laughs> we but saw the moon in the distance. We, we saw we could see the moon. It was, it was a great launch. This is a great step. It's a lot of hard work to get here. This is five years of effort from a very small company, um, but they've made a lot of progress. They solved a lot of problems, and now they're on their way. Um, so this is a good start, but it isn't the end yet. They yeah. got They got to finish the next step. <laughs> That's right. But at least we we have eight days, right? We, we do. have eight days. Yeah. So they've got six days to get to the moon, and then we'll then we'll then we'll hit the hard step. Yeah, so with the challenge of landing on the lunar surface, what's your message to the intuitive machine? So the big thing right now, um, they need to stay focused. Um, space is hard. S small mistakes can doom you. Um, we know they're very talented. They're very well organized. We're really impressed with the, te the depth and technical skills of this team, but you have to stay focused. you got to make sure you nail everything and stick the landing. So, again, a lot to look forward to, but we're, we're optimistic. Yes, we are. We're looking forward to it. i got a lot of faith in these guys. Great. Chris, thank you so much. Glad to be here with you uh, again for another Clips launch. Thank you very much. Okay, so that is going to wrap up NASA Intuitive Machines and SpaceX coverage of the launch of the Nova C moon lander on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Pad 39A here at Kennedy Space Center. Again, if all goes well, Nova C is expected to land on the moon eight days from now, so mark your calendars, on February 22nd. It would be the first U.S. landing on the moon since 1972. We'll, of course, bring you that coverage live right here on NASA TV.
And until then, you can find out more uh, about this mission and other NASA CLIPS launches by going to the link we're about to show on the screen here, nasa.gov slash CLIPS. We're going to leave you now with a replay of today's launch for everyone here at NASA Intuitive Machines and SpaceX. I'm Megan Cruz, and have a great morning. 15 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and liftoff. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus lunar lander. Vehicle pitching down range. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Kennedy Space Center.